John Moses Browning, America's greatest gun designer, was toward the end of his relationship with Winchester when he developed the 1895 lever action. The 1895 improved upon earlier designs with a stronger lockup of the gun, a locking lug that was behind the bolt instead of at the sides of the bolt. This 1895 is chambered in 405 Winchester. It's the current production model produced by Winchester in partnership with Moroku in Japan. This is a blued standard model gun. It has a 24 inch barrel. It's about eight pounds all up. And it has a modern feature, which the older models of the 1895, the original versions made in the United States by Winchester didn't have, which is the Tang safety. Now, again, this gun has a couple of specific features uh, to the later lever action design that John Browning worked on Winchester with. One is that Unlike the very first 1895s, this later version and this modern version has the unlocking feature on the lever itself. Once that happens, the entire action can be run down to that point and you'll notice the bolt simply travels back and you've got an open top receiver out through which your spent cases eject. But if you'll notice, this is the locking block right here. And rather than being one on one side and one on the other with some of the earlier designs, this is one that is on the sides, but it's also one piece with a portion that comes up behind the bolt. This design was considered strong enough to handle, for instance, cartridges such as the, the 30-06 uh, and the 405 Winchester and the 3040 Krag. Uh, today, this version is available in all of those chamberings. Uh, this one again is a 405. Now, to celebrate the fact that it has been 125 years since 1895 was first brought on the market, Winchester has also put together this version. And this is a similar gun that has hand chased engraving on the nickel receiver. It has a higher grade of walnut, a grade five, grade six walnut, and otherwise, mechanically, it's the same. But the 1895, regardless of the version that you buy today, had this box magazine that's integral to the action, and that was really the big difference in the gun uh, between the previous lever actions that Browning had designed for Winchester and this one. So Winchester's done a really nice job, again, of recapturing the historic legacy of one of their really interesting guns from the past by working with Moroku. Moroku really does a great job on these guns. The fit and finish on these guns is, is terrific. It's really, in, in many cases, it's better than the originals. And I think Winchester has done a, a real service to modern shooters who might want to recapture some of that nostalgia with the 1895. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.